Hey there, everybody! It's time for a new Let's Play! Let's Play Hinterland! A very, very fun little, uh... RPG slash, uh, city builder. Um, which is an odd mix, and it, um... It's really cool! So let's, uh, go ahead and create a new character! Oh boy! I've already chosen who I want to be, so, uh... I won't have any vote or anything. There are lots of different choices. Oh, yep, there we go. And I will be that one. Yes. What should my name be? How about t whoops. How about Tim Mick O Sun. Mm. Oh, come on. Ah. Oh. You shall be Mick O Sun Sun. Mm. Excellent. Mikosensen. Very good. And we'll have a middle difficulty and a short game and turn that off. And let's start. And I'll skip the loading screen. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna, I, I think I'll need to check the sound levels just a moment. Okay, here we are at the very beginning and I've gone ahead and paused the game and now uh, we need to start hiring people to live in our little uh, city here. At the moment our city is just this tiny little outpost. And the goal of the game is to uh uh there it is. Is to conquer all of this. That is your that is always your goal. And so I can click on one of these guys and uh like this is a uh a, her a herdsman or a herdswoman, I guess. And uh I give her 13 gold and she would work for me and make food for me. But you see, she would consume food too. And since I only have one piece of food, she would run out of food before she actually made any more and then she would just leave the city cuz she was starving. And we don't want that. So, I'm going to go kill some stuff, get some food, and then come back. So, let's go do that. All right, so we're coming up on our first area here. Yeah. Spiders! Take that! Oh boy! All kinds of stuff. Okay. I need to lower the volume of the game a little bit because it's uh, a little bit loud. Wow, this is a tough spider. Holy crap! I had to use a healing potion there. Alrighty. Okay, there we good. Very, very good. Okay, now we're gonna go back to town. And I don't think there's a hotkey for opening up the map. You have to click this button. Alrighty, and then we're gonna pause the game. And we are... Ah, oh, I don't... You can see I collected food here from the spiders and it appeared there. And I got a trap, which will help uh, trappers. And this, which will help... Um, see, this is a lasso. And it will help trappers as well. Okay, but I need to go get more money. Alrighty, so let's do this. As an orc, I have a whole lot of health. Wow, these spiders are kicking my butt. There we go. Alrighty, so let's go kill these last two spiders. I very nearly died there. I need to go back to town and heal. Um, now, it, th this game is, I think it's only about five uh, American dollars and about three or four euros. It's, um, you know, you get what you pay for. It is not the best game ever made. It certainly has a lot of flaws. For instance, I cannot access the options menu. Like, if I hit escape, it's just uh, to quit the game. And I want to quit the game. And this doesn't help me at all. This is just a little introductory thing that I just close out of. And so, yeah, I can't change options while in game, which is annoying. And, it, and the game takes quite a while to load. It's three or four minutes. Well, eh, that's probably just a problem with my computer, not with the game itself. But it, uh, my computer takes a long time to load. But anyway, back to the game. We got this excellent little thing here, this dung. This is really good. This will help our uh, uh, farmers a lot. Okay, I'm back. Uh, well, I mean, I say I'm back to you, no time at all has passed, but for me, about ten minutes has passed, because I went and took a break. Anyway, uh, so I clicked on this, uh, woman here, and I'm gonna build a house for her over here. 
because why not? Alrighty, then I can click on the farm and view her equipment, and then I can just give her the dung. Or wait a minute. Oh, that's right. She's a herdswoman. Herdswomen are useless. But this one here is a uh, a uh, an innkeeper, an innkeeper, and that's that's really good. We want an innkeeper. Whoop whoop. Looks like we have some bad guys coming to attack us. Let's go intercept them. But yeah, this game is um, very, very cheap. That's probably its best uh, quality. You know, it's not the best game in the world. You probably won't play it more than once or twice. But it's it's really very good. Um, yeah, oh, whoa. These are new enemies. An evil necromancer. And his skeleton minions. Yeah, skeletons are hilariously weak. That seems really loud. I need to check the audio levels again. Okay. Uh, I think I fixed it. Ah, good. Now we have new visitors. Let's pause the game again. Uh, as you can see, this is their gold cost, and that's quite expensive. But this is a, a, a watchman, and uh, that's really good. We want a watchman, because they go with us on uh, you know hunting. They're, they're like a little hunting party to follow us. And then this is a uh, an alchemist, but uh, we won't be able. Well, is you can upgrade him to an alchemist, but you won't be able to. Uh, I won't be able to play with him till later. I don't have enough money at the moment, so I can just. What? I'm in my city. There we go. I can just click this and uh, send him on his merry way. And I'm going to go and um, uh, kill some more people. Oh, good, I leveled up. Yeah, as you can see, every time I attack something, this level here, this bar increases. Every time I am hit, these two bars increase. And, uh... Th that's how you level up. Anyway, I have three options I can go to. Uh, attack, defense, or health. Uh, which are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with attack. And, uh... That's defense, that's health, and that's attack. Okay. Because I like dealing lots of damage. Oh boy. Yummy. Ooh! Huh, these are new enemies as well. I'm not, I'm not familiar with these enemies. Gamelfleisch. That means junk flesh, I think. Doesn't really make any sense. They're really weak, though, so whatever. Alrighty. Oh, hey! A new mace. Awesome. Is this one better than what we have? Nope, it's the same. This is also the same ar armor. Darn. No, that axe isn't even any better. Alrighty. Oh, crap. Hurry, okay. I almost uh, died there. You do not want to die. Oh boy, a crystal ball! Anyway, dying is very bad. Oh hey, there we go, that's the hotkey for opening that up. Tab, all right. Okay, so I can go to my city screen here. Oh good, let's see. Now unfortunately, I uh, I'd like to get this woman here, but I'm afraid she'd eat too much of my food, so I'm going to go ahead and send them off. Crystal ball right there, my rusty axe right there, and... Okay. Now we'll just wait for me to heal. Um, we're running out of food. That's not good. We need more farmers. Can I not give her anything at all? I can't even upgrade that little thing. Dang it. I may actually lose this game simply because I just can't get enough food. Whatever. I'll get food from killing things. So let's go kill things. Won't get any food from these guys, though. I need to go kill something that's alive to get food from it. God dang it. Why are there so many skeletons?
Another lasso, or I guess a, a hunting rope, as it's called. That would be a lasso. Oh well, I'll get access to fresh water here by clearing out this area. See, there we go. And, uh, you see, it improves my city quality. Having a high city quality attracts more people to come and uh, live in your city. Why is this guy just out here in the middle of nowhere? And these worlds here are actually randomly generated, too, which is really cool. It adds a bit of replayability to the game. Like, this is the third or fourth time I've played through the game. Uh, so it is somewhat replayable. Ooh, 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 we need to go back, we need to go back right now. Now, later on in the game, we'll have access to portals, uh, which will make us able to go throughout the world instantly, which is very nice. Anyway, this guy, he is a farmer. Well, he's not a farmer. He is a hunter, but that's good enough. Let's see. That'll produce three food. That'll produce four food. All right. Because I'm out of food now, so they might just leave my city because there's not enough food to feed them. Hopefully they won't, but they might. So I need to go kill something that'll drop food, like a spider or a bandit or, or something. See, there's a portal right there. Just appeared on the map. Hopefully these guys aren't too tough. More freaking skeletons. Why are there so many skeletons? Please don't be skeletons. Please don't be skeletons. Please don't be skeletons. Skeletons! Why is this world entirely populated by skeletons? Ow! That guy's too difficult to kill, so I'll run away. Hey, I'm producing food now! Good. Looks like a crisis was averted. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and just keep killing these skeletons. Wow! One shot! Oh, oh! Let's do this! Yeah! Sweet! Alrighty, so I guess I'll go up here. Actually, no, I'll go back to town and heal for a little bit first. Oh, there is a uh, another attack party coming from that fort right there. I'll try and get to town quickly before they uh, kill me. Oh, hey, look, another farmer. Good. I need another farmer. You can go right there. And then you can have this dung. There you go. Whoop. And there's a better weapon for us. Okay. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Sweet. Yeah, that was a really small attack party. I need a shield. Alrighty, so this guy can go die. I don't, I don't want him. So now we have enough food producing places. Oh, god dang it. Our farmer just left because there wasn't enough food to feed him. Well, crap. And he took my dung with him. Dang it, man. Could at least give me my poop back. Alrighty, well, I think I'm producing food now, so it shouldn't be a problem. Ooh, an axe! Yeah! 